before we start today's video, message to all free-to-play players, we're not gone yet, and I'm here to help you, because Capital Games won't. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Senate. Hello there, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing the road ahead for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and how that would affect a free-to-play player. Um, starting off, we have the Executor. This is out of reach for probably most free-to-plays, including myself. Um, and you might be thinking to yourself, hey, why would, why would I listen to this guy? He's only like a million galactic power. He's only played the game for a couple months or so, um, six, seven months, but... Uh, I'm just trying to tell you guys to calm down. It's not the end of the game. It's not the end of free-to-play. The end of free-to-play comes when every single free-to-play player does not have fun with the game anymore or quits playing the game. Which This game is still very much playable. It's just slightly less enjoyable with these changes coming up. Um, so, time to talk about the Executor, Darth Vader's flagship, which they're using Piet to pilot it, which... I'm assuming it's because Vader already has his TIE advanced, uh, and he can't really pilot two ships. But, yeah, it's Vader's Star Destroyer, and it's manned by Piet. You so, of course, we take these all very, very seriously. And oh, all about ma 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 You need Piet at Relic 8, you need Boa Fett at Relic 8. This is like a Galactic Legend ship. Um, I... And I, I sure hope it doesn't, like, absolutely break the meta, um, but Fleet needed a new shakeup, so there it is, I suppose. It requires the raise request at, um, five stars, just a bunch of relics. This is a, a very high, uh, high requirement thing, so it better be good. Um, next up on the list is Maul. There's nothing really to talk about him. Uh, he's just another Conquest character. He might make the Mandalorians a bit better. Um, and rounding out the um, good part of today's um, video, or at least the good part of the road ahead, Lord Vader. Um, Lord Vader is coming soon, and he's also got uh, some interesting requirements, to say the least. Um, Gas and Padme, completely expected. Tusken Raider, I was guessing Tusken Raider, if you guys believe it or not, but I had no clue that they would require a bad batch. Uh, whilst Bad Batch is a good team, there's still a single farm, so just a one-drop hard node, so that'll be pretty difficult. Um, and moving on from that, we've got to talk about the uh, elephant in the room here, the nerfs. Um, we had a huge change-up recently for the road ahead, um, and they're effectively making Galactic Legends almost unkillable for um, characters that aren't GLs. So... Effectively, what they've done is they've heavily nerfed um, characters like Thrawn, characters like Vader. Well, Vader actually hasn't really been nerfed, but he's been nerfed um, in terms of countering Galactic Legends. The troopers have had a heavy nerf. Sith Eternal can no longer be countered by troopers, uh, which was one of the staple counters previously. And Rey's gotten a buff as well. Um, it seems like... You'll have to, if you have a GL and, uh, or sorry, if your opponent has a GL and you do not have a GL, you're going to have to find a way to work around that GL. So, just like an analogy I like using is Grand Arena is kind of like dealing cards. Um, except you choose which cards you're dealt by your roster, so you can control that. But say the other, uh, the other guy is a Galactic Legend and you don't. You can't control that, really. Um... And your counters don't work because they fixed it. Well, they didn't fix it. They just broke it. The, the changes are pretty trash, but whatever. Um, they're effectively making you having to go around GL. So say the other person has a Galactic Legend, uh, and you don't. But you have the second best team that's not a Galactic Legend. So the Galactic Legends would be like Ace of Spades. You can't beat it, so you gotta go around it. If he places his Ace of Spades on defense and you have the king, the only thing that can beat the king is the ace. And if the ace is on defense, then the ace can't beat the king. So if you put your king on defense, say my king is like a um, Darth Revan or something, and he can't beat my Darth Revan with anything but a Sith Eternal. 
he puts his Sith Eternal on defense because he know I he knows I can't beat it. Then I would put my Darth Revan on defense, and we would both have um zone two zone or one zone each, that would be unclearable by the opponent. So effectively, my Darth Revan just turned into a Galactic Legend there, because of how I played. And obviously, this is not going to be a hundred percent accurate every single time, but it's just a strategy that you guys can use up against Galactic Legends. Um, you have to work around GLs now. You can't push through them. You have to work around the Galactic Legends, which kind of sucks, but it is it is what it is. Um, so yeah, they're all, they're also making just they're enforcing that you can't counter GLs with non GLs. There probably still are some counters that still exist, but they're probably either very sketchy or they're they're, they're not a hundred percent working. Because they've heavily nerfed Thrawn, they've heavily nerfed Gideon, so they can't counter GLs, which apparently they um, think... Creates a much more healthy meta long-term. ...is better for the game. I'm not sure why. Maybe one of them was like really drunk whilst riding the road ahead or something. But they have retracted some things before, and I, I hope that they do this, because this is not really a great change. Um, so, yeah... It, it's it sucks, but they've reverted changes before. Um, if you all remember when Jolie was taking taken off the um, his hard node because um, Bokatan was put on there, they uh, the community complained and they addressed that complaint and they put Jolie back. But that sounds like a bit more of a minor thing compared to this. But there's a lot of people complaining about this, me included. It's a terrible change. Um, and moving on to somewhat better stuff, we, there's also a player versus developer Grand Arena, which is kind of fitting if it wasn't a Grand Arena. But um, yeah, that's really nothing much to talk about that. Obviously, I'm not going to be participating. I don't think I'm not near famous enough. Um, <laughs> and basically, yeah, uh, it sucks. They've nerfed a lot of characters to, like completely into the ground. Um, and free to play, you'll have to be like way smarter than your opponents. So uh, you can't really win a whole lot in squad arena if your opponents have Galactic Legends, because I mean you can't really counter GLs with non GLs anymore. Um, but we're all hoping here that this gets uh, retracted. There's plenty of people who have jumped ship already that aren't playing Swigo anymore, which is perfectly fine. If you're not having fun with the game, then you don't have to play it by any means. But I think you should stick with the game if you're still having fun with it. Um, basically, how, what this guide is, is it's just showing that there, there are some ways to get around the GL. That's not, it's not completely against free-to-play, because there's obviously some free-to-plays who have Galactic Legends, and there's some people that will benefit from these changes, but more people will be upset about it than benefit from it, and even people who benefit from it think it's dumb. Um, and I, I'm hoping that they do re retract these statements, because they did say it was subject to change or something, so... Well, um, we're hoping to see that, but I don't know. Um, that'll probably be it for today's video.